Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to prevent other users from accessing your files in Windows 10. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I've got four images here that I've created that I'm going to use as an example that I'm going to move them to a folder and then I'm going to select um, permissions on this pictures folder to prevent other users from accessing these files. So if I put these files first of all into the folder, and then if I go back to the pictures directory, just right click on it, go to properties. In this window, left click on the security tab. And you can see here the current permissions that are set. So you can see authenticated users and this one. So basically everybody has got modify permissions. So what we need to do, uh, don't click on edit, but down the bottom here, click on advanced. And we can't actually uh, change these permissions at the moment. You can see they're grayed out uh, because that folder, the pictures folder is inheriting permissions from the root of the C drive. So what we need to do here is disable inheritance. So you've got two options here. If you select the top option it's going to keep the permissions that are here already and you'll be able to edit them or you can remove all permissions from this object so that's what I'm going to do here I'm then going to add and if you click the link up the top here and then type in your username the best way to find out what your username is is if you open up so if you left click on your start menu type in cmd hit enter and it's going to say your username there so you can see that my username is admin so you can just type in admin check name it's underlined it so it means it's found it so if you click on ok and if you give yourself full permissions click on ok and then apply and OK. Uh, that will take effect straight away. So as you can see at the moment, only admin has got full control. If you wanted to add somebody else, click on the add button, click on the link up the top here. And what you can do is you can actually select advanced and then click on find now. You can find the user that you want to add. So I'm just gonna use uh, this one, for example. And what you can do is you can actually just give them read access or modify or for control, whatever you want. OK, I hope you found this guide useful. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.